Hello and welcome to a new section of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop I'm going to call Tube Time. Welcome to Tube Time on Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Alright, time for another unboxing video. Got a package arrived today, and it says... Fragile, so I wonder what's in here. I think I already know what's in there. So let's open this up and see what we've got. And I've only just got up, so I'm a little bit out of it at the moment. Either this is super strong tape or my scissors have gotten really blunt. Oh, here's an interesting fact you might want to know. The sound, remember that valve preamp that I made for a microphone a few videos back? Well, I made a couple of improvements to that and that's going to be in another video. And that's what you're hearing from right now. My Mark II valve preamp for a capacitor microphone. Enough about that. And more about this. Alright, let's see what we've got in here then. Well, let's just get some of this packaging out of the way. Because we don't really care about that. It appears to be carefully wrapped. Okay, we've got some. Why don't you just get the packaging out of the way? I hope I didn't just accidentally clip the mouse there. And my camera frame rate has become really choppy, I don't know why. But, got some valve bases, or two bases, whatever you want to call them. I know I use the words valves and tubes, both of them. I know how you keep switching between valves and tubes when I'm saying what I'm talking about, but you know what I mean. They're about the same thing. And in here, I'm pretty sure what's in here. Um, I could just find somewhere to open this. Actually, I'm just going to go back and check, play the video because I'm not sure about that frame rate because I'm. On the laptop screen it's become really choppy and I don't know why. I don't know if it's actually gonna be like that in the video or if something's or if my laptop's glitching. Okay, we should be good now. So my stupid computer, while I was recording, it decided to start up the antivirus scan. Anyway, let's see what we've got in here. Oh, hang on. There's an easy open thing here, I didn't see that. Typical, isn't it? It's like pre-packaged food. Peel film lid off. So you grab a corner of the film lid and a tiny little bit comes off. And the rest is stuck on with super glue. Alright, I'm gonna have to cut this the rest of this open. See what's inside now. So let's put that 
to one side and try to figure out how to open up this. Okay, it's just taped in. Oh, and there's a letter as well. Let's take a quick read of that when I get this open. If I get this open. read that out later. List of everything that's in here. Enjoy and do something with these on tube time. I certainly will. Alright, so let's see what we've actually got in here. That's this is. EL84. Power output tube. What, what is this? EF95, let's just see if we can uh, get this out here, take a little look at it. I can never get these things open. Just... I might be here sometime. Oh, I see, that's stuck there. A 6V6GT. I think I've got one of these. I think that's one of the ones I used in my tube amplifier. In the power amplifier, I mean. I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember what this one is. I'm familiar with the numbers, but I've forgotten what the tube actually is. Oh, actually, hang on a minute. I think I have another one just lying on my desk somewhere. Let's just compare those two. Okay, it's not the one I thought it was, but yeah, this one that I had laying on my desk is a. Oh, that's a 1G6 GT, no wonder. Not exactly sure what that one is, so I uh, might look it up. That other one I showed, that was on the desk, that's a dual triode, but it's directly heated. <laughs> Got a few in here, let's see what's in here. 1T4, little radio tube. Especially for RF circuits, there's another one in this box here. And what we got in here? No idea. So let's have oh, six AN four. Let's take a look at this guy. Yeah, it's one of those little tiny ones. I'm not sure what's um. If that's a triode or a pentode, I don't I think it's a dual. I wouldn't think it's a pentode or it might be a single pentode. I mean, a dual triode. Not exactly sure what's in this one. These medical boxes make great tube containers. Um, look inside of that. I think this one might be a rectifier, although I could be wrong. I haven't really looked it up. Although, I just remembered, don't need to look these up because there's the whole tube list right here. So let's see. This one is a EZ81 or EZ81. Let's see what that is. Yep, that's a rectifier. I thought it was. Oh, if you're hearing some noises outside, there's nothing much I can do about that. Our inconsiderate neighbours decided they 
build something or something, I don't know. We've got one here, it's Tesla. I'm sure you can hear a lot of noise going on outside. There's a big truck parked outside, no one else can get by. I think they've just moved there, so this. Is that to get out of the way? This is an E88CC. Let's see what that is. Oh, am I holding it in the camera? It is. I don't know. It's listed here, but um. I don't know, ECC88 doesn't seem to be, uh, I mean, well, it's mentioned, but not, doesn't say what it is, doesn't matter, right, okay, better get a move on, another EL84, I've got, getting quite a few of these now, Power output enter. Um, let's see, 6x4 again. I have no idea what that is. So let's have a look on the list here. 6x4, a two way rectifier. Let's take a look at this. See what it actually looks like. I'll just take some of this tape off. Sorry about that. This packaging is so old, it's just. Disintegrating in my hands. Find these old rectified tubes quite fascinating. One day I might even get to play with some Mercury Arc. I might even get to play with some Mercury Arc rectifiers. What's this? Um, oh yeah, we've seen this one, ECC8CC. Another little one hiding behind the thing here. Let's see what this is. Not exactly sure. This is an EF95 clone, apparently. So let's see what an EF95 is Put on the list here. I don't know. Yeah. I really don't know. But, excuse me. Let's just put that in there. Make sure that's safe. All right. Well, let's move on. There's a couple of loosely packaged ones here. Here we've got an E180F. I don't know. Again, I don't know what that is. It's got an interesting looking base. I've not quite seen one like that before. I don't know if that just comes off, that's a protector. Yeah, that's just for protection. Um, a Mullard valve. This is obviously from Europe. Small, strong pentode. Works well with E88CC, me here's. So what it says on the thing. Okay, I'll just put that. I'll just put that back on there. Make sure that's nice and protected. Got another one in there. Don't need to open that up because we know what's in there. Let's see. Oh. Some even more EL84s. You know what? If I ever find a transformer that's got a center tap on it. I'm definitely going to try and make a stereo push pull output to amplifier. I don't know what we got in here. This looks more interesting. It's Russian as well. I 
as you can probably tell. Mm, that looks like some serious business. Let's see what that is. My guess is some kind of pentod. What have we got here? What, what, what was this now? This was a 6... something 3C. 6 something 3C. Ah, oh, there it is. Audio output power beam tube. So it's probably a tetrode actually. Okay, let's just get that back in. All right, and uh, one other big one. Actually, I'm just going to save this one for last. The bigger ones are more interesting. Let's see, we got some ECC eight fives. I thought, oh, oh no, uh, sorry, EC. No, it does say. I'm not sure if that's ECC eight five or ECL eight five. Well, let's take a look at the tube anyway. Oh yes, well, I can already tell you just by looking at this. And I'm pretty sure that this is a triad and pentode combination. You can use one of these. You can make a single amplifier out of one of these because it has the triad and the pentode already built in. Um, let's see. What is the ACL85? I don't... Uh, I can't see it here. Yep, I was right. Try pentode combination. Okay, let's just put this there, go back in this box. Keep it safe. Oh, I've got quite a few amplifiers I could try with these. Might try one making an amplifier just using that one too and see. Of course, I'm going to make other ones as well, but just see how well an amplifier just using that one tube comes out. All right. What have we got here? ECC83. It's a little bit different to another ECC83 I have. Um, let me just get it. Ah, here we go. This is another one I've got. It looks a little bit bad, but that's uh, just a bit of crud on it. It's not actually gone milky or anything. Compare the two. And to you Yanks, that would be a 12AX7. Alright, only four left. Let's see. Another ECL85. Well, we saw that earlier, so I don't need to get that out and show you. Let's see what we got in here. I think if I remember from what I just read, that's the same thing as the ECL85. I might be, might be wrong. I can never remember which way I can... I always get these wrong when I try to open them up. Always open them the wrong way. That's not actually. Um, it's like another dual pentode. I'm not sure. Let's say 6H3 something. I don't know because I don't read Russian. My best guess, that's a dual pen, um, dual triad. Go 
got another one of those right there. I might actually do some experiments with these, see which ones uh, work best. You know, swap out some tubes in my tube microphone preamp and see which ones give the best sound. See which ones, see what kind of differences we have in the performance. And finally, in this big green box, already got a base on it. It's a little bit, can't read what that says because it's a little bit scratched off, but um, 7B4, oh, you can see it right there as well. That was just me being stupid. And here they all are. Well, one of each anyway. So thank you very much. Anyway, I've got floods of ideas coming in about what I'm going to do with these, so future tube time videos, and I've lost my train of thought again. So until next time, goodbye.